All right, we are ready to create our first trouble ticket. Pop over to the customer, click create new ticket. We'll give it a description, problem type, and the problem description that will be emailed to the customer with the, hey, we've got a new trouble ticket for you. Bad Jack will quote and call Thanks. Where were they referred? You can change this list. Does it have a power adapter? If it's a laptop, maybe it has a power adapter. And if they want to pre-approve it, this will kind of trigger a little bit of ticket workflow. If you already know they're saying go ahead with the repair, you can check this box. Typically they want a quote and a callback um, with our demo company, so we'll just create the ticket here. Now at this point, it sent an email to the customer, and we have Google Cloud Print configured, so it just printed a copy of the ticket here in the shop. If we need to print another copy of the ticket, we can just fire up the PDF, and then send this to whatever printer we want. It's showing us a little bit of the workflow here. We've got status here, and we can add comments here. So this is the main area for the technicians to spend their time in. To close a ticket, all you do is change this to resolved. That's it, this ticket's now closed. It won't show in the ticket screen, and the system will just treat it like it's a complete ticket. If you wanna change the ticket numbers, you can jump in here, change this ticket's number, and then the next one will be this plus one. So at this point, we probably take the computer back in the back and start looking at it. Once we've taken a peek and we're ready to put a diagnostic on it, tell the customer maybe or not what happened with the diagnosis. Okay, we typed in a little diagnosis here. We looked at the computer. We're going to hit save. Because that update type was diagnosis, it changed this progress to diagnostic yes. Now the update type is going to default to approval because it wants us to do that next. So once the customer has approved, we're going to go ahead and put an approval on here. Okay, thanks for approving. Now it's approved. Now if you want, you can use canned responses. You can pre-type nice, long, detailed, proper grammar, proper spelling messages. Just insert them with one click. Hey, your computer's all set. You can get it anytime, thanks. Here's our business hours. Once we're done with this, we'll move on to invoicing. That's the basics. Anytime you want to make a hidden comment, a tech note that does not email the customer, just check that box.